Okay, I'm here with Leslie Ullman, who is a poet, and she teaches here at Vermont College of Fine Arts, has taught here for quite a while. She is in the Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writing. And so I've invited her here to say hello, and um, in a minute I'm going to ask her to do something really special. But first, um, Leslie had taught at U University of Texas in El Paso for a very long time, and she retired about how long ago? About four years ago. Okay, and I noticed on your website that one of the things you're doing is teaching skiing as well. what's happened is I've been teaching so long that I've gotten very intuitive with my teaching. And then when I started teaching skiing, I didn't have that strength, mm -hmm. but it's starting to come back. And, wow. And so I feel that the teaching is now informing the way I teach skiing, which, you know, I'm not as... Some of these people have been teaching for 30 years. And then it's sharpened me to how, maybe it's sharpened some of the nonverbal things mm -hmm. in my life. I feel there's a wonderful reciprocity. And what I talked about in my lecture this time, I've never talked about this here, but I really see a reciprocity between the things we've mastered and the things we're being apprentices in. Uh -huh. And how there's a circular thing that goes on that's very good for us. And I really feel that all of us are interdisciplinary beings mm -hmm. if, if we're willing to acknowledge it and I said in my lecture I said I'm making myself talk about this because I used to hide it. Well I think um, for myself anyway I think that we as modern beings tend to to do too much compartmentalizing. Yeah. You know we we tend to put these separations between the the different aspects of our lives and I'm not sure that's healthy. No and so. I think that when we're younger we have to work so hard, we want to work so hard to establish ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's the way we're wired and mm -hmm. it's our culture. And now that I'm older, I'm older but I'm not falling apart. And, and <laughs> no, it's you're like, clearly not falling <laughs> apart. <laughs> it's like I'm, I still have, the, I have all the benefit of the experiences I've had mm -hmm. and I'm more willing to take chances. And um, I think to some degree when you get older, you're willing to be more all of, all of who you are and be more in the moment, which is something else I've been enjoying. Well, I have a favor to ask. Would yes. you do us the honor of reading, sharing one of your poems I'll be with glad us? To. Okay. I'll be glad to. So here we go. Okay. I brought three new poems up here, and I'm just going to read you the first one on the on top. And I love it because we're in a heat wave in Vermont right now. Whoever's yes, watching we this. are. Um, today's a little better. Yesterday was 96 and humid, and we don't have air conditioning, so we've been a little goofy and I have a lot of wintry imagery in my poems so this is I'm offering this as an antidote to the weather. Are you conjuring up a, a cool spell for <laughs> I'm us? I'm conjuring up frostbite. <laughs> Good we'll take it. All okay, right. Okay well here All we right. go I'll just try this one on you. This right. is called While Other While Other Creatures Sleep. Snow buries its own kind above the vegas and these words laid in rows across the page I open after a day spent in a wind full of knives. The words waited as though tamped under ash. Now they release a signal, then another. Faint smoke carried from the heat of someone's pursuits in the tropical landscape of her desk. The page is full of secrets. The page is full of secrets and nearly silent, like the real flame that drifts among collapsed coals, none of it resembling the willful exchange that runs trains and reddens metal. The page wants me to remember how a cluster of words can be flint after one has lived a day in blowing snow, its one vowel and mindless reversals. I want to chew these words, then make up something that turns out to be true. I want a kind of smoke to rise from me, to wander and dream like the thoughts of cave people gone quiet before a circle of heat they could make but not explain. Leslie, that was lovely. Thank you.